Welcome back to Landmark Exhibition in Beersheba is exploring the role that some of Israel's most influential artistic families have played in shaping the country's culture across generations. Maya Margid brings us this report. A unique exhibition. Fathers, mothers, sons and daughters. In this show, artworks from different members of the same family are displayed side by side. It's all part of a large exhibition at Ben Gurion University in the southern Israeli city of Beersheba called All in the Family. This exhibition was timed to coincide with Israel's 70th anniversary and lays out the story of Israeli art not according to which decade it was created in, or style, or movement, but rather via families. 21 families with several members who are artists are featured here. Among the many notable artists' families featured, the Caravans. Born in Tel Aviv in 1930, Danny Caravan is famed for his large site-specific sculptures and monuments while his daughter Tamar is a photographer and stylist. The art that I produce plays a different role than traditional art. It's not something you visit in an exhibition or a museum. It's something you run into outside. It's there. So Habima Square in Tel Aviv, for instance, is full of people 24 hours a day. Danny Caravan also famously created the relief sculpture on the wall of the Israeli parliament's Plenum Hall back in 1966. A vocal critic of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's government, he believes the country has lost its way. If I could, I would gladly cover the sculpture I made in the Knesset until there's a government that can fulfill the Declaration of Independence. We are disobeying it every day. We occupy land. We oppress. They should end the occupation. Another complex issue the show tries to tackle, the role of Arab-Israeli and Palestinian art in Israel. The Abu Shakwas are an established family of artists who hail from the city of Umal Fahim in northern Israel. Said Abu Shakwa founded a gallery there dedicated to Palestinian art. His brother Farid is a multidisciplinary artist. I wouldn't characterize myself as an Israeli artist necessarily, but I would say that I'm an artist working within Israel, though not within the Israeli art world. There's a difference. I don't think people should be afraid of the division between Palestinian art or Israeli art. This division exists. I create Palestinian art that is in dialogue with Israeli art. I, as a Palestinian, am working within the field of Israeli art. All in the family, a glimpse into how families, art, and Israeli culture come together. From Be'er Sheba, Maya Margit, I-24 News. First of all, it's really great, you know, to kind of see how, you know, artists are able to, you know, have their entire family kind of carry on that legacy. There aren't, I imagine there aren't that many families in Israel like this. Well, the curator said, actually, that he could have made an exhibition with 50 families. This is just with 21 families because of the space. Right. Uh, but it's a really major exhibition, and I have to say, I've never seen this kind of concept in any other exhibition I've ever visited. Uh, it might have been done in the past, but I've never seen it before. It's a very original idea to just take families like that and show how the uncles and the cousins and the daughters and really, everyone just yeah, gets involved and, and in And how the art has, has evolved. And, like, you know, this artist in particular, I know this in Beersheba. Like, right. I, Darta, Darta, I, I can't remember if it's and Darta, but I've been there. Right such a, you know, a powerful monument, and it's just so interesting that it would get so political. I mean, that's a big deal if, like, here he's got this prize relief sculpture and feels right. so strongly. Danny you know. Caravan has been very vocally opposed to, you know, the, the government current, the current government under uh, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, he says that he never puts politics into his work. Mm -hmm. His work itself is not, like, when you look at it, right. it doesn't yeah, look Yeah, his work political. is not political, but... Right. When it's politicized, used, uh, he's right. using it's politicized well, because it's in the parliament, the Israeli Knesset. Then it is a political thing because right. whoever's standing in front of it, his work is always there and right. it's always being represented. That's gonna be really hard. Like if he feels that strongly, to you know, he felt, it must make him cringe. He felt you know? very, very strongly about yeah. it, and he's still complaining about the fact that the, the sculpture is there and that he can't do anything to hide he'll it. Wait till there'll be another administration. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Maya. Sure. All right, it's lift off for hundreds of hot air balloons over Louisville, Kentucky. Here's more on the. Magical Great Balloon Charity Race. They say the third time's a charm. And for the first time in three years, it was nothing less than a beautiful start to a Thursday morning at Bowman Field. It's really shaping up to be a great weather year all the way across the board. The Great Balloon Charity Race was given the green light for liftoff just after 7. And if it holds, 
I'm going to, I'll fly it at 500 feet. It's an event that draws in local families year after year. Yeah, they're mesmerized. She keeps pointing and waving by to all the balloons. I think my son's favorite are all the yellow ones. What I enjoy is seeing all the expressions on the kiddos' faces out here when these balloons start going up. That makes all the work worthwhile. What's your favorite part? Um, when they take off, like that, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. The hair balloon flown by U.S. Bank. It was the one to keep your eye on, the one the other hounds chased after. And we're going to head south today. The hare's mission, to find open ground, land, and market spot. Then crews still in the air would drop a bag of bluegrass seed as close to the mark as possible. The closest to the target received $1,000 toward the charity of their choice. The exact landing spot is quite literally up in the air until they're over it. If they can throw a white sheet out or stand out in their yard, <laughs> that's what we look for. I can see a white sheet from a thousand feet in the air. That's how we know people want us to land there. By 730, each balloon had taken flight. I can imagine that I'm up there. Spreading some warmth on a cool morning. And I imagine how fun it would be. The kids love the science of it, and it's just pretty magical. I mean, it makes you think about how lucky we are to be here in Louisville at this time of year. Coming up next, uh, why is a combination of meditation and exercise proving to be the best cure for sexual trauma? Natalie Lahav here with more. Alexa is poised to teach our children to read and have manners. Vili Abraham here with Tech News and bringing some rock and roll studio performance by multi-instrumentalist and singer Tal Ornan. But first, the news.